Hi, this is Jim Reed, and this is video three, and this is what we're going to call the preparation video. I believe that this is the most important video. Preparation is your most important step to any project to have a successful one. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Rockstar, man. The Lime Freeze, great stuff. Anyway, uh, we're going to have to extend some of our... Uh, ESC cables because they're too short to reach around the uh, Original flight controller the ESC is plugged into the front and on the Pixhawk they front plug into the rear of the flight controller and also the orientation of uh, our ESC hookup is different uh, On the original tally h500 we have one two three four five and six and on the Pixhawk we have one two three four five and six so the orientation is different the the location of where the the plugs go into the flight controller and so it ended up having to lengthen our cables no big deal but that's one thing that we have to do okay now let's talk about our gps system I want to use the same GPS system because I've never had any problems with it. Uh, I know they have the Neo 8 now, which is supposed to be faster, but I think the only difference is, is it picks up foreign satellites, which doesn't give you any orientation here in our country anyway. If you're in some other country, you know, maybe, but in, this, in, in the USA, all we need is good old USA satellites. So anyway, um, I'm going to use the same... Uh, system uh our magnetic interference when it was in the uh the bird the way they mounted it was fine so there's never been a problem with that so we're going to keep it what we did have to do is we had to create a cable it's very simple um you just grab yourself a six pin uh cable and uh you lift up these little tabs here and you can move these wires around i made this paper <laughs> of course uh Here's dyslexic here, you know, the K and the W is switched. But anyway, um, as you see, uh, pin 1, the red wire, which is our voltage, is uh, pin 5. And, of course, it's different when you plug it into the GPS. But anyway, this is the cable that we have to modify to make the original GPS work. You don't have to use the original GPS. You can put a mast outside and drill a hole in the top of your uh, airframe if you want, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Later on, I may do something where I run two uh, GPS systems, but right now I'm just keeping it the way it is because it works and uh, that, I, that's just the way I'm gonna do it right now. Okay, so next, lastly, in our preparation is our power uh, distribution so anyway in order to get the Pixhawk to read the voltage and the current from our batteries that the original one did going from this check power port we plugged in this DuPont connector that had a white a red and a black wire okay well that measured our current and our voltage now we need to measure our current and our voltage through that wire to where the Pixhawk can read it. Not a problem. So what we're going to do is we, uh, we got the pin out here. So pin 1 and 2 is, v, is your voltage. That, that's, that powers the board. Pin 3 is your current sensing. Pin 4 is your voltage sensing. And 5 and 6 is ground. So I tied one and two together into the plus side of the output of the five volt VEC and six goes to the ground output of the five volt VEC. And your current sensing, pin one from the power distrib dis distribution board to pin three for current sensing, pin two which is the red wire, pin four, and then ground, pin five. Oh, shoot, sorry. Ground, pin five, done. 
Now we can set up our fail safe to sense the current and the voltage and we can be responsible, not have our aircraft fall on us out of the sky because we didn't pay attention to uh, our battery life. And also it will show uh, our uh, values on our uh, OSD. So we're good to go. And uh, that is, I'm gonna take a look at my uh, power distribution board so you can just see what I did here. Of course, a lot of this stuff is personal preference. Um, from the uh, 12 volt side here, Oh, we got it tangled up. From the 12 volt side, this 5 volt BEC, one goes to the flight controller, one goes to the uh, receiver. This one uh, is, is it's just for powering peripherals, but it makes our LEDs work on our, BE, on our uh, ESCs, and it makes our landing gear work really efficiently. And so that was a good move. That's what we needed to do. This here, a uh, little cable I soldered from to this board. This is for the, the mini OSD. This here is our voltage sensing circuit um, that plugs into the uh, um, PixHawk. And this is our BEC that we tied directly into the uh, battery before it goes to anything. And uh, of course, this uh, BEC is capable of our voltage and, and amperage, so we're in good shape. So anyway, another thing that I wanna uh, add is you wanna put some vibration dampening uh, tape on the back of the, uh, on the bottom of the flight controller to give it a little vibration dampening. You can't go too thick because we don't have the room to do that, but I've, I've used this stuff and it's the only thing I've ever used and I've never had any problems with anything. Uh, another thing I like to do is I like to open this thing up and, and there's a little pocket where, where there's, there's a piece of foam for the uh, barometer. I like to open that up and put a, a bitter, better piece of foam in there than what they use. It's just personal preference. But anyway, this is the preparation video. That's my new body. I found a website that has 800 and plus of these. Uh, they only have the uh, the white in stock, and there's about $100 to get shipped to the U.S. So uh, that's the best I can do. I can't find any uh, black ones at all. Uh, they're out of production. Hopefully, Walkera will start making them again because I know a lot of people have this aircraft, and they still sell them. I mean, if you go on Amazon and... and, and uh, these websites, they're still going for 1800 bucks for the full package. You know, uh, you can get them pretty cheap somewhere used for, you know, five or six. But, um, yeah, people are still flying them. I know I'm going to still fly mine. Uh, anyway, uh, this is the preparation video. Um, if you want any of this information for the uh, power management, for the uh, um, GPS uh, cable, to make the GPS cable, please feel free to email me. And our next video is going to be tomorrow, and we're going to start assembling our uh, our Pixhawk driven Tally H500. Okay, well, thank you very much, and I will talk to you soon.